What's up everybody, it's Jeremy here. I'm Oceanbound. Man, it's been a while. It's been a short while. What have I been up to? It's, it's been cold. It hasn't really been that windy. I mean, it's not entirely true. It has been windy, windy in patches, but it doesn't mean I was available for it. I've just like, I feel like there's just been a lot of stuff between birthday parties and whatnot that I just, it's, luck hasn't been on my side. Most windy days I actually had to work, and don't even get me started on work. Work has just been insane. I haven't even turned on my computer at home in about two weeks. That's how like freaking busy I've been. This has been crazy. So, fast forward to now, here is what's going on. It is 34 degrees out. I'm not stoked to go out right now. No one's here, I'm the only one. Why is no one here? Because it's 34 degrees in Banking West. I've been meaning to do for a while a, a, a sort of kind of like review and talk about cold weather gear. And I just bought another pair. It's like I'm obsessed. I'm like Goldilocks trying to find the perfect glove out there for winging. And I have like six different pairs of gloves. So I think I'm gonna bring a bunch of gloves to the beach and that's my intention is to go out and try a bunch of different pairs of gloves. I'm not psyched to be out in 34 degrees, but I'm psyched to try this. It's for science, right? I have a rule that I started like last year. I don't wing below 40. Well, I've broken that rule multiple times this year already. I've been doing 36 degree days. 34 is like, we're talking one, two degrees Celsius that it is right now. And I'm just, I'm not stoked to go out. So my hands are gonna be cold. Some of these gloves could totally suck. Some could be good. I can't keep the good ones on. I've got to change it out and try the other ones. So I'm not really looking forward to it, but the things that I want to check out are are warmth, um, flexibility, uh, fit, grip, and just any other notes that I have on any of these gloves. Now, because it's so cold, below my like normal threshold, I'm also wearing a six mil, a six five wetsuit, which as I was putting it on, made me realize how freaking tight six mil wetsuits are. I mean, it's comfortable, but like, I do remember from last year, this year I have a five four, last year with the six five that I have, I was toasty all winter long, but even just with this wetsuit, I feel like it starts to, starts to give you forearm fatigue. I only have like, like, I have an hour or less of daylight. There's the sun right there. So without further ado, I'm here at Pleasure Bay. Let's go pump up and see what that beach looks like. Here we go. Neil Pride. These are 1.5 millimeters. These are random, I don't know how long, wait, they're Stormer from Amazon, like $20. We've got brand new Solites, 2.2 mils. We've got, these are Glacier gloves. These are, they're kinda, I forget which ones these are. I think they're thin ones. These are Kokatat mitts. And these are the thicker Glacier gloves. Well, um, so right now I can tell you, these are pretty warm and they have good tact. These are warm. These are my favorites so far. One, two. I don't really wing with these, but I'm gonna try them. The good thing is, is when there's no holes in them, they're just nice and, you know, here's the thing. These have loose wrists, loose wrists, loose wrists. This doesn't really go down to the wrist. This has tight wrists and this is tight and the fingers are tight. And these are pretty much my favorite because they're the lightest, but it's pretty cold today. So it's going to be interesting. So, one thing I wanted to point out first, I love my booties thick, but I like my gloves thin. And honestly, this comes from my kiteboarding days when I was obsessed doing these unhooked railies all the time in the middle of the winter, and I couldn't stand the thick gloves because they would get me forearm fatigue, even though, you know, a kite bar is relatively small compared to like a windsurfing boom. So that mentality is kind of carried over into winging. Now, so I'll be the first to admit that I know that a five millimeter glove or mitts, for example, are going to be warmer, but I just happen to prefer my gloves in the two millimeter range. So that sucks in the winter, you know, your hands get cold. You do everything to try to warm up. You like, you know, do this, to try to get the blood to rush to your fingertips. But sometimes you'll curl your, your coldest finger like up in your palm to try to like make that like warm up a 
little bit. You take breaks and you put your hand under your armpits. You know, you do whatever you can. I suppose now is a good time to tell you I, there is one trick that I kind of have and it kind of it involves what I call the bee sting. Your hands will get to the point when they're cold that they'll kind of start to hurt. They hurt so bad and your, your fingertips and your fingers start to throb like they've been stung by bees. I call it the bee stings. It sucks. Sometimes it hurts so bad it turns my stomach upside down and I want to hurl. But if you can get over that pain, if you can get over the bee stings, your hands usually warm up and they'll stay warm for the rest of your session. It's called vasodilation and it's the widening of blood vessels so you know you get increased blood flow. Now, I'm not saying to push it. Don't get to the point of frostbite. Numbness is never good. So now that I've gone through all of that and you know where I'm coming from, I think it's time to, you know, take the gloves off. Okay, so starting out in this session, I started with glacier gloves. I started with these because they're kind of been my go-to favorite over, you know, at least a dozen years. There's three different varietals of glacier gloves that I would recommend for winging. There's the Kanai, there is the Ice Bay, and there is the Perfect Curve. Glacier gloves used to be cheap, and that was the appeal for me before. Since the pandemic, their prices have basically doubled. So I don't know what's up with that. The thing with glacier gloves is they don't hold up forever, and they do tend to get these like holes in them in like, you know, the creases of your fingers and in your palm. Now, Moving along, the perfect Kurt varietal. Here's a pair that I have, um, you know, not even opened yet. So this is a pair I've been using. They fit great. This has a different texture. It's smoother, but it still is grippy. I mean, they say these are two millimeters, but I swear they feel thicker. The pre-curved fingers are really nice. These have fleece too. It's not super fuzzy or thick, but it is fleece. It's nice. And these are basically my go-to gloves for the middle of winter. And I've been rocking these out for about 15 years. And so it also comes with this long Velcro strap that I immediately cut off before I even wear them for the first time that I just think is kind of dangerous, so I just get rid of it. It just always gets in my way. All right, so moving along, the second set of gloves I tried, I was super stoked about, the Soul Lice. Soul Lice just came out with gloves. These are called Soul Lice Gauntlet two pre-curved, they're like two slash two millimeter, I don't know what that means. And I love Solite booties. So when these came out, I was super excited to get them because I was assuming that they'd be amazing. The website said order a size up, so I did. I'm a medium guy, and so I ordered a size really large. Hard to get and I was so stoked to receive them. I put them on right away. I mean, look at it. They look cool, right? But I instantly felt how tight they were. They're very tight in this part of the palm and especially pinching right here on the fingers. And I have three quarters, half to three quarters of an inch of excess off my fingertips, which isn't cool. And because it's so tight in these fingers, when you grip anything, because you don't, I mean, yeah, they're pre-curved, but like when you grip, they actually tighten this area. So when you grip this area and this, simultaneously tighten and cut off your circulation. And so, bottom line, these did not get me stoked so they do look cool they've got this like um they've got this surface on the outside which has like breaks in them i think they call it hexagon but i just see triangles i see hexagon too but i think this this surface is supposed to help with the wind but then the breaks in between make it stretchy and whatnot did i say they look cool they look cool they say they're two millimeters but they feel a little thicker the wrists are pretty tight not super tight but they're pretty tight and honestly they're kind of on the water they're really hard to get off and by the way the palms have kind of like a different material which they have like a nice grip on the inside and then like this windproof thing on the outside so if i were gonna buy these again i'd probably get two sizes up but I did reach out to Solite and they did respond I love it when companies respond and they said the factory screwed up on the sizing of these so for some people even if you order a size up the fit was not as intended so they said this will sure to be fixed in their next production cycle cool I'm lucky they're letting me return these I do appreciate that I do not intend to buy them again but Solite if you're listening if you want to send me another pair on your next production cycle I would be happy and honored to try them out for you and I'm a typical size medium however that translates to Solite 
language. All right, so next up, Glacier Gloves, Ice Base style. These were just instantly so much better on my forearms. They're super grippy. I swear they're not as thick as like the kind of pre-curved are, but they say that they're both two millimeters in thickness. I don't know. I don't feel like getting a caliper out. To me, these are like my mid to post-season gloves or pre-season. You know, it's they're great wind chill blockers. It's good when the air gets cold and the water really isn't there yet or kind of vice versa. All right, so moving on, I got these random gloves that I wanted to try. I found on Amazon that the brand is called Stormer. My appeal to these is that they don't have wrists. They have this Velcro, which I didn't even have to do. I could just do it super light, but just the fact that there's nothing in the wrist, that's cool. The sizing was weird on their website. I feel like I did the calculations and it was like, told me to get a double XL. Well, I did, I got a double XL and you know, my fingers go straight to the tips of these. So they, they do have a little sizing issue, but at least these fit me actually very well. So I'm not really sure what they're thinking with these circles. They definitely don't add to the grip. If anything, they make it slipperier. And in some ways it's nice to not have grip. You know, like um, my first V1 swings had like small handles and to get your glove in and out, sometimes your glove would get stuck if it was grippy. So these would have been really good with like a V1 swing handle. Probably really nice for a boom because you could like slide your, your hand down the boom when you want. The appeal of these, 24 bucks on Amazon. They are a good build. I think um, they're, they're relatively decent gloves for the price and, and I'd say that that grippiness they may get more grippy the more like use that I have with them. Next, we come to my favorites, the Neil Pride Apex Flex. I love these things. Why? I think because they're 1.5 millimeters thick. So they just feel like nothing's there. I, I just love these. The, the wrists are, are not extra tight. They don't add to forearm fatigue at all. And during COVID, it was actually kind of hard getting gloves. A lot of places stopped doing production on them. So I was lucky to have a pair of these and they, they, they held up really nicely through like a year and a half, two seasons of COVID. It's hard to explain what's different about this material, but they're, they're really well built. The, the thing is, with this this kind of grip that they put on, they are a little slippery out of the box. But I have two pairs and my older pair definitely has more grip. Just because they're my favorite doesn't mean that they work in all situations. They can certainly start to suck when it gets cold out. But I'll ride these whenever I can. Usually not in the middle of winter, but you got some nice days in there. And these are just what I prefer. All right, so lastly, we get to some mitts. These are Kokatat Inferno Mitts. I was recommended these by Graham, one of uh, my oceanbound friends who watches my YouTube channel. He recommended these. These are technically three millimeter, but I, I got these because the wrists are actually nice and loose. You know, there's a pre-curve in them. Honestly, I'm gonna go and say out of all of them, these are the best if you want to keep your hands warm. The grip is fine. It's actually nice and grippy, yet the outside is this different material. I dig that. They're kind of pricey. From Kokodet's website, they were 87 bucks with shipping. I couldn't really find them anywhere else cheaper. And But yeah, I really like the materials. They're built to last. I like the seams on them. The only thing I'm going to say here is that I do have one complaint about them. In the back of my head, I kind of knew that this would happen, but I had to put it to the test. I didn't realize how much I use my ring finger in my pinky, or let's say how much I don't use them when I wing. So when I'm doing like an upwind tack or a jibe, I'm constantly like folding these fingers down and kind of holding like a loose grip on my handles, like especially doing like an upwind tack, having the mitts, I can't really do that. Whether or not I have my fingers here or like I'm kind of like inevitably doing this, what happens is, is when I'm doing attack and holding on, that little extra bit in the mitt was gripping and kind of holding on to my handle a little more and it was messing me up a little bit. So I think it's something I could get used to, but I have one of these for a couple of sessions and I haven't gotten used to them yet and it just kind of messes with my style a little bit. So it's not ideal, but if I'm going out there and it's cold, if it's some of the coldest days of the year, these are what I'm gonna wear, 100%. They don't add to forearm fatigue. Like I said, the wrists are nice and loose and everything about them, just keeping your fingers all together definitely helps with 
with keeping your situation warm. So really, I just wanna point out that that's not a total downside to these mitts. It's just a downside to mitts in general. So I do thank Graham for giving me the tip on these mitts. I've tried a lot of mitts on at surf stores. They tend to be really tight in the wrist. These are not super tight. And I, I, I really enjoy having these in my glove quiver because this is what's gonna take me to the lowest possible temperatures. All right, cool. So that was a long one. I knew it was gonna be when I was like starting to jot down notes on all of this stuff. But if you made it to this far, I hope that there's some things that you could kind of take away from this. I live in the Northeast, so we have some cold temperatures to deal with. And I'm sure we all have varying degrees of winter and all of that. So you may not need crazy gloves or you may need crazier gloves. I really dislike mitts and I dislike thick gloves. This is personal preference. This is just some stuff for you to think about and for you to reflect on. But no matter what, winging in the winter is no joke. Your hands get cold. There's no break. You know, you have to hold on. It's uncomfortable. It's even painful. Like I said, I have my shelf 40 degrees and every time I go below that, I'm not that stoked. So you really have to love what you're doing out there. And if you do, you're just going to find a way. All right. Thanks for watching everybody, I really appreciate it. If you wanna see some more of my videos, please consider clicking that subscribe button, drop a comment, I love talking to you guys, it's been awesome getting to know y'all, and with that, I hope you're all doing well out there. I'll see you guys on the flip, and I wish you all an awesome day. Later!